Hi, I'm Daniel, and let's talk about alcohol. It's pretty clear that alcohol isn't going anywhere. It's ingrained in the very fabric of our society. However, we can all agree that alcohol as it is now presents a very major problem in our society. From drink driving to alcohol fueled violence, it's pretty easy to blame alcohol in these situations. But when we blame alcohol, we overlook the major factor, ourselves. See, humans are intolerant to it. Alcohol isn't the problem, it's our intolerance to it. Imagine drink driving as a thing of the past. Domestic violence rates would drop overnight. Nightclubs are no longer scenes of danger. And even the dreaded hangover would disappear. But it's not like this is a new idea. Humans have been building up their tolerance to substances for centuries. You ever heard of anti-venom? What about lactose intolerance? See look, studies show that places where dairy has been around the longest, levels of lactose intolerance are at their lowest. But in places like, I don't know, Asia, where dairy has only been around for a much shorter time, lactose intolerance levels are at their highest. But what does a glass of milk have to do with alcohol anyway? Here, I'll tell you what. It's all about our ability to adapt. If we introduce alcohol into our diet, then our tolerance will rise. See, the answer's pretty simple. Everyone over the age of five should drink at least one alcoholic drink per day. So we all have that uncle who can drink like a fish without being affected. So why not start the process a little earlier? And if you hadn't already made up your mind, studies show an overwhelming amount of health benefits for alcohol. Lowers your rate of cardiovascular disease, lowers your rate of diabetes, lowers your rate of dementia, prevents the common cold, and even raises your life expectancy. See, so forget what your mum said about an apple a day. A drink a day is what keeps the doctor away. And that's without mentioning how much easier social situations are when you've got alcohol in your system. For you see, alcohol breeds creativity. And in a world with actual serious problems, such as climate change, we need creative solutions. So let's get real. All this sounds great in theory, but would never work in practice, right? Wrong. Our five point implementation program will make sure that tomorrow's society is more tolerant than a gay pride rally. One, bring the minimum drinking age down to six years old. Furthermore, every five year old now is expected to drink at least one alcoholic drink a day. That way, every man, woman and child will have their tolerance raised. And we're not in the business of leaving people behind. Two, make drinking legal anywhere, anytime. The only reason they ban drinking in the streets is because of the negative stigma attached to it. There won't be any negative stigma once we're done with it. Three, regulate national prices of alcohol to make it cheaper and more affordable. Because we get it. Alcohol can be pricey for some folks. But if we regulate it the way we do with milk, we can make sure we've got more affordable alcohol for every man, woman and child out there. Four, abolish all taxes on alcohol. They don't tax dietary staples like bread and milk, so why the fuck should we tax alcohol? Five, government issue booze stamps, which give households access to free alcohol. Some people still can't afford alcohol in this economy, even with the regulated prices. But if we hand out booze stamps in conjunction with food stamps, we can make sure that every Australian has access to the necessities. So that's it. The problem's complex, but the solution is simple. Drink a day keeps the doctor away, so I call a toast to a more tolerant Australia. Cheers.